Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about what is algorithm and flowchart and the relationship between algorithm and flowchart. What are the advantages and disadvantages of flowchart? Next one, what are the symbols we are used in flowchart with the functioning of each and every symbol that we are used in flowchart? So these are the points that we are discussed in this video. Please observe carefully. The first point is what is algorithm? An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure for solving a given problem. Suppose we are taking one problem, what are the steps we have to follow to solve that problem? These steps can be written step-by-step, -step. then that is called as algorithm. Okay, suppose we are taking one problem, the problem is adding two numbers. Okay, so A, A, A variable A contains one number, variable B contains second number. We are adding the values of A and B. This is our problem. Okay, so now these problem can be solved in step by step manner. First step, every algorithm should start with the begin. Second step is read the values of A and B. Step 3, adding the values of A and B and store the result in another variable called sum. Next, step 4 is write the result of sum variable. Last step, step 5 is end. That means every algorithm starts with the begin and ends with the end. Okay, so this is the algorithm of adding two numbers. Now, this algorithm can be represented in a graphical or a pictorial form. Then it can be called as a flowchart. Flowchart is nothing but graphical representation of an algorithm, pictorial representation of an algorithm, diagrammatic representation of an algorithm. Okay, so flowchart is nothing but pictorial or a graphical or a diagrammatic representation of an algorithm. Okay. So, this algorithm can be represented in a graphical manner or a pictorial manner or a diagrammatic manner. Every flowchart starts with the start symbol. After that, read the A and B values. For that one, we have to use parallelogram symbol. To perform the arithmetic operation, we have to use process symbol. After that, writing the result, we have to use parallelogram symbol. After that, we have to stop the flowchart. Okay. So, for starting of the flowchart and ending of the flowchart, we have to use the same symbol. That symbol is called as terminal symbol. Terminal symbol. So, its shape is oval shape. Okay. The terminal symbol is used for start or our stop of the flowchart. Next one, this symbol is parallelogram symbol. This parallelogram symbol is used for reading the uh, variables or uh, writing the variables. So this shape is parallelogram symbol shape. Okay. Next one, rectangle symbol. This symbol is called as process symbol. This symbol is used for performing arithmetic or arithmetic operations and data manipulation operations. Next one, this symbol is also we are discussing. Next one, arrow lines. These arrow lines are indicating the flow of operation. Okay, flow of operation. 
so this is the graphical representation of an algorithm is called as flow chart okay so whenever we are representing the algorithm in a graphical manner then it can be called as a flow chart next one the process of drawing a flow chart is known as flow charting the process of drawing a flow chart for an algorithm is called as flow charting flow charting is nothing but the process of drawing a flow chart for an algorithm okay next one is flow chart makes use of some symbols these symbols are connected to each other to indicate the flow of an algorithm next one what are the advantages of flow chart okay the first one is with the help of flow charts programmers can be analyzed in effective way okay so flow charts are very easy to understand okay whatever the logic that we have followed in the in the algorithm that logic can be represented in an effective manner okay and also whatever the problem that problem can be analyzed in an efficient manner for that purpose we have to use flow chart next one second point is easy debugging and efficient testing suppose if a logic is occurred in an algorithm it is very easy to identify and also it is easy to correct that error in flow chart so hence we can say that easy debugging and efficient testing next third point it helps us to understand the logic of given problem okay suppose we are taking any problem that problem can be understand in easy way for that purpose we have to use flow charts okay whatever the logic that we are followed in a given problem to understand that logic we have to use flow chart flow charts are very easy to understand whatever the problem is analyzed within the algorithm that problem can be analyzed in an easy manner and whatever the logic that we are followed in the algorithm that can be easily understand by using flow chart next one what are the disadvantages of flow charts first one so whenever a problem is a very simple problem and easy problem it is very easy to construct the flow chart so suppose if the problem is a complex problem and it is a large problem it is very difficult to draw the flow chart next second point suppose we are taking a problem in that problem any modification can be done okay we have to rebuild the flow chart so it was a somewhat difficult and it is a time consuming process so that means modification of flow chart is somewhat time consuming suppose we are taking one problem for that problem we are already draw the flow chart if any modification can be done in the logic of a problem again we have to redraw the flow chart it or modify the flow chart can take uh, somewhat time consuming okay so because of the reason we can say that modification in logic of a particular problem in flow chart it can take somewhat time consuming okay now this is the flow chart to add two numbers okay now we can go for what are the symbols that we are used in the flow chart now we can go for what are the symbols that we are used in the flow chart and what is the function of each and every symbol 
used in flowchart. So these are the symbols that we are used in the flowchart. Okay. The first one is terminal symbol. The terminal symbol is there in vowel shape. This terminal symbol is used for start or stop of the flowchart. Suppose we want to start the flowchart, we have to use terminal symbol. Suppose we have to stop the flowchart, we have to use terminal symbol. The terminal symbol is used for start of a flowchart or a end of a flowchart. So its shape is vowel shape. Next one is input output symbol. Okay. So this symbol is used for performing input and output operations. What is the input operation? That is the read operation. What is the output operation? Write operation. To perform read or write operations, we have to use this symbol. This symbol is input output symbol. This symbol is in parallelogram shape. Okay. Next. Third one is processing symbol. Okay. So processing symbol is in rectangle shape. This symbol is used for performing arithmetic operations, mathematical operations and assignment operations. Okay. So whenever we are performing arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modular division and uh, assignment operations, we have to use this symbol. This symbol is called as processing symbol. This processing symbol is in rectangle shape. Next one is decision making symbol. So decision making symbol is used for making a decision whenever two or more alternatives are given. Okay. Suppose we are taking one task. The task can be performed in two alternatives. Okay. So at that time we have to use decision making symbol in flowchart. That decision making symbol is in rhombus shape. Okay, this is called as rhombus shape. This shape is used for making decision whenever two or more alternatives are given. Next one is predefined process or a function symbol. Okay, so this is the shape of predefined process or a function. This Symbol is used for executing a group of statements to perform a particular task. Okay. Suppose we are taking one task. To perform that task, we have to execute several steps. So at that time, we have to use uh, this symbol in the flowchart. Next one is arrow symbols. These arrow symbols are also called as flow lines. Okay. Top arrow, bottom arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Okay. So these are called as arrows or a flow lines. So these arrows or a flow lines are used to indicate the flow of logic by connecting the symbols. So whenever we are connecting the symbols, okay. So whenever we are connecting these different symbols, okay. So these symbols are connected to each other by using arrow lines. So that indicates the flow of logic. Next one. Next symbol is circle symbol. This symbol can be called as on page connector. Suppose we are drawing some parts of a flow. Suppose we are uh, drawing a flow chart in different parts okay suppose we want to execute one problem that problem can be divided into some several functions several functions or a modules for each and every module we have to draw the flowchart 
okay suppose in that problem there are three modules or are three functions are there for each and every module or a function we have to draw the separate flow chart okay so within a single page we are drawing three flow charts okay to combine these three flow charts within a single page we have to use on page connector so on page connector is used for connecting the flow chart that are exist in a single page okay so it connects two or more parts of a flow chart which are on the same page so two or more parts is nothing but to execute one program or a problem we have to draw two or more flow charts okay within a single page to combine these three flow charts that are exist on the single page we have to use off page connector next one next symbol is on page connector next symbol is off page connector so this off page connector is used for connecting two flow chart that are existing on different pages okay suppose one flow chart cannot be uh, insert on a single page one flow chart cannot be put in a single page so the flow chart can be exist on two different pages within a single page we are not constructing the flow chart for a given problem okay so for the same problem the flow chart exist in two different pages to combine the flow chart that are exist on two different pages we have to use this symbol off page connector okay so what is the difference between on page connector and off page connector so while considering the off page connector it is used for connecting the flow chart that are exist on two different pages whereas on page connector is used for connecting the flow chart that are exist on the same page so that is the difference between on page connector and off page connector so these are the symbols that we are used in flow chart each and every symbol has a particular shape and each and every symbol have a particular function so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so divela srinivasa rao so please subscribe my channel link for future updates in my youtube channel